Mailbag time here, NFL Daily Chat Sports. Mitchell Renz ready to answer all of y'all's questions. So if you're wondering, hey, why are my questions on the show? You got to use hashtag NFL or you can super chat. This first one's coming in here from H2OCO8. Do you think the Broncos should get a new offensive coordinator? Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say yes. The other issue, Denver, they have a lot of injuries right now, kind of battling them, whether it's been Teddy Bridgewater, whether it's been some of their key wide receivers. You lost Jerry Judy, K.J. Hamler. I'm not really going to sit here and point the finger at all of those things going on, though it has been a little bit stale the last few weeks. Let's go to Deshaun Bowens. Do the Vikings get rid of Zimmer at the end of the season? He's been underperforming with the rooster <laughs> at his disposal. So again, Dalvin Cook has been banged up, so I can't really put too much of that against them. They should have an extra win. They should be 3-2 and two if it wasn't their kicker missing a 34-yard chip shot up against Arizona. So that would be a totally different thing. I think the bigger issue is what Zimmer has done in the playoffs. So with that being said, uh, I, I, do, I could see a scenario, though, where Zimmer is no longer the head coach. Let's go to Anthony Thompson, Doug Peterson to the Raiders. So it's funny that you bring that up. So Peterson was one of my candidates in terms of my John Gruden replacements. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it's on my Raiders Report YouTube channel. If the Raiders want to bring in somebody right now, Peterson's by far the top option because how many coaches can you find out there that have a Super Bowl ring that's also as well-respected as Peterson? Now, I don't think that that's going to be the guy they hire because I think it's going to be like either Joe Brady, it's going to be Eric Bieniemy, Brian Dable, or even, uh, what's his name from the Cowboys, Kellen Moore. But Peterson's definitely a name to keep in mind. What up, Robin? Should the Dolphins trade to us since you don't think he is the answer? What can you get for him? I mean, that that's one of the answers. Like, that's one of the bigger problems. Because if I'm an NFL franchise right now, there's no way I'm giving up a first. There's no way I'm giving up a second. Maybe I give up a third round pick to see what Tua's got. He's injury prone. He has not impressed me his ability to be able to pick up NFL offenses or even read defenses. So, yes, I, I would trade Tua, but would you take him for a third-round pick? Please let me know. So what do you guys think about this? All right, I like this. So I'm a big fantasy football fan. Who has been the best player on your fantasy football team? I'm curious. Now, usually people say, oh, no one cares about your fantasy team. I care about your fantasy team. So who's been the best player on your team this year? In my league here at Chat Sports, I'd probably say Austin Eckler. He's been an absolute PPR monster. In my family league... I'll probably go ahead and say Debo Samuel or even Dak Prescott since it's a very quarterback heavy league. Please, though, let me know who's been the best player on your fantasy team. Go down in the comments and let me know. My best player on my dad's team it has been Derrick Henry, but that's probably not too much of a shock to anyone. Let's go to AA, Ron. Do you trust Geno Smith? I don't. Should the Seahawks trade for Mariota? Do I trust Geno Smith? No. Do I trust Marcus Mariota? No. So why would I give up draft capital for a quarterback who has been really injury prone? Sure, he's expected to practice this week for the Raiders, and he's a pretty mobile guy, and he's got some connections, I forget how, with Pete Carroll, but no, hang on to Geno Smith, let it ride, and hopefully Russell Wilson gets back sooner rather than later. We got Alec G. Trade Jared Goff for Locke and 23 first. Hashtag NFL, hashtag chat sports. I'm not trading Jared Goff for a first-round pick and a discussion. Like, I would never give up a first-round pick to go out and get Jared Goff. Sorry, like the idea, like the creativity in this, behind this, but no, not going to give up a first-round pick for Jared Goff. Let's go to Darko. Could you see OBJ getting traded for Michael Thomas? I could not see this happening. Why? Why would New Orleans go ahead and take on a contract of a player who is worse than Thomas, and why would, I mean, if I was the Browns, sure, if it was straight up OBJ for Michael Thomas, if I'm the Browns, I'd do it in a heartbeat. If you're the Saints, though, absolutely not. Let's go to Ralph Corona. Should the Raiders trade Arnett and Furl for the Panthers, cornerback Devonta Jackson? I think you mean Dante Jackson first off. Dante Jackson's a good cornerback, but if there's going to be somebody that I go out and trade for, probably not going to be him. Also, nobody's going to trade for Damon Arnett right now because he's on IR. And Cleveland Furl, at best, you're probably going to get a fourth-round pick. So if I'm the Raiders, you got to draft in Las Vegas. I would move on from Arnett. I'd move on from Cleveland Furl. If you could get like a fifth-round pick for Cleveland, 
If you get a six round pick for Arnett, I would honestly probably go ahead and do that and build for the future. Christopher Vigil, should the Niners trade Kittle and Bosa since they're injury prone for first rounders and start all over? I mean, it's interesting that you bring that up. However, I, I personally, if I was an NFL team, I would give up a first round pick for George Kittle and I would give up definitely a first round pick for Bosa. Are both of those players injured? Yes. But are you really confident in the first round pick that you're going to be able to get is going to be ever as good as George Kittle or ever as good as Nick Bosa? Answer to that is probably no. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and bet on all the NFL games this week, if you want to bet on who's going to be coach of the year, who's going to win the Super Bowl, MVP, who's going to be the first coach fired, you can go ahead and do all of that at BetUS. Now, how do you get the hookup? I need you to listen up real quick. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. I'm going to say it again in case you were picking your nose. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code NFL Daily gets you 125% deposit bonus. Now, maybe you're like, Mitch, I don't know what games I want to bet on. Or you're like, Mitch, why should I listen to anything you say? Well, I went 4-1 and one last week, and if I'm being real, the Packers game absolutely screwed me over. So 4-1, and one, I think that's pretty good, right? What about my week six bets? I hate myself for doing this, but I got three unders. I'm taking the Chiefs minus 6.5 up against Washington. Give me the Bills minus 5.5 at Tennessee. All of these odds also, again, I'm getting them from BetUS. So if you want to make the five bets I got going on, you can do it at chatsports.com slash bet. Make sure you use that promo code, though, NFL Daily. Let's go to Gamer Dude. What up, my brother? Can you tell Chase Sr. is the GOAT, and I will see him in any given Thursday. Mitchell, you the GOAT, too, and tell Chase I like him. And Mitchell, you are the man. Well, Gamer Dude, I appreciate that, but can you really have two GOATs? Can you have two GOATs? Chase can be the GOAT, and I'll be the greatest of today. I don't know. Let's go to Cole. I guess the cow, right? Greatest of the week, Cal, no, I, Gal, I'm all over the place. What up, Cole? I said when Urban Meyer was hired by Jacksonville that he would only last a year, if that. But I didn't picture anything like what happened in his bar going down. How long do you think he lasts? I mean, you should ask her how long he lasted. Um, I guess what I would go ahead and say here is this. I really don't think Urban Meyer is cut out to be an NFL coach. Maybe, just maybe, he gets another shot in college, but I don't even think that. Urban was one of those dudes who was a good recruiter who could tell kids that, hey, you have a good chance of going to the league if you come underneath my coaching, essentially. But he's been a, yeah, that could have gone down a really dark hole, too. Urban will not last another year in Jacksonville. I'm very confident saying that. He's a bad fit, and he's already losing the locker room. What up, Giovanni? Who is a wide receiver the Steelers could trade for to replace Juju? What about Michael Thomas? I don't see Michael Thomas being the receiver that replaces Juju, though. If Pittsburgh wanted to shell out some money to go ahead and get him, I think New Orleans would go ahead and do it. If you want a lesser wide receiver that could be a potential option, maybe Nikhil Harry could be somebody to throw a name out there, but there's not really too many wide receivers, and I'm like, wow, that's definitely a name that I would go out and trade for. Michael Thomas, definitely an interesting one, though. So uh, I got a question for all y'all out there. Are you Urban Meyer? You, uh, you hitting that? You know what I'm talking about. You, uh, you hitting that sub button? Are you? Well, if you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button. Let's get to 265,000 subs. So make sure you're going ahead and hitting that. What up the past master? Mitch, why doesn't Houston just roll with David Johnson? Because he stinks. Seems like we are given opportunities to make the most of them compared to Houston's other running backs. Mark Ingram hasn't been very good. You're right. Uh, what's his name? Phillip Lindsay has been maybe worse. I think Phillip Lindsay right now is averaging 1.7 yards per carry. Now, the offensive line for Houston has been bad. But the reason why I believe David Johnson has looked good is because when David Johnson comes in the game, it doesn't really matter. Sure, he's looked a little bit better in pass-catching situations, but the fact that Houston traded away DeAndre Hopkins in a deal that involved David Johnson and not a first-round pick goes to show how much of a shit show of organization that is. What up, Anthony? Will the Eagles trade Whiteside to the Steelers? <sighs> I, I, exactly. I mean, Sam just whispered in my ear for a bag of dirt, maybe. Like, what are you going to get for him, right? What are you going to get for J.J. Ortega-Whiteside? I mean, he's he's an absolute joke ever since coming into the league. I personally wouldn't want him. I actually would have rather kept Travis Fulgham instead of J.J., but I get they invested draft capital. Also, I don't know if Philly would trade with their interstate rivals. So I'm going to go ahead and say no, but it's because the Steelers don't want J.J. 
Let's go to Osmer Castro. Is Richard Sherman himself with the Buccaneers? Is he himself right now? Yes, Richard Sherman, believe it or not, is no longer the Richard Sherman that could lock down an entire side of the field. When you don't practice, you don't play for a really long time, and you're just expected to come and be an NFL player, it goes to show that it's not easy. Now, also, Buccaneers' secondary is kind of scattered, but I think Richard Sherman is exactly who he is right now. He is an old, washed-up cornerback who, if you need him in a pinch, maybe can get it done a little bit. Now, you guys right now are watching NFL Daily, so if you haven't yet, please Go ahead and use hashtag NFL or you can super chat. Let's go to Clayton. Over under 12 interceptions for Diggs. 12 interceptions is a lot. And I get it, he's had six. And I've basically said probably the last three weeks that he's not going to get another interception next week. What he's doing right now is phenomenal. I'm going to give Diggs a lot of credit because I like cornerbacks that are aggressive. And sure, you're going to get burnt here or there. That's okay. But if your secondary, your safeties are also doing what they're supposed to do, backing you up, it's okay because his six interceptions right now are really setting him up. And I'm hoping that he gets some votes to be Defensive Player of the Year because he absolutely deserves it right now. But to answer your question, I am going to take the under because 12 interceptions in a season is absolutely redunculous. Though, he's on pace to absolutely smash that. What up, DZNY Babe 76 Will laser calling play for the Bears now? Do you think Bears have a shot at a wild card? I honestly do not believe that the Bears have a shot to make the playoffs. That offensive line is bad. Justin Fields has looked good at times, but I still don't have a lot of confidence in him. The defense is legit. It's one of the most underrated defenses in the league. They do lead the league right now with 18 total sacks. But no, I do not see Chicago making the wild card. I just don't overall think that they are ultimately that good but hey if you disagree with me you guys can always let me know on ig or twitter at mitchell 365 halloween y'all right around the corner and i got a major major sweet tooth so what i want you guys to do is let me know what's the best halloween candy and if anybody says candy corn you're a sociopath so i'm gonna go ahead and say like snickers some reese's twix throw it in there if you're a sour patch kind of person i'm okay with that if, if you give me Milky Ways, I don't understand the love for Milky Ways. The Three Musketeers on Halloween, I just feel bad for you. Let me know down in the comments, what is the best Halloween candy? Please let me know. Now, obviously, y'all, a lot of questions here on today's show. If I can't get to all of them, I, if I did, we'd be here for three hours, and I just don't have the time of the day for that. So if I missed your question and you want to hit me up on Instagram, please do so. That's down there below, MitchellRens365. What up, Mark? Who is the Lions' next head coach? <laughs> We're already moving on from Dan Campbell. I mean, you could say what you want. The Lions aren't a talented football team, Mark, but they are playing for their guy, and I respect that. I think they're going to give Dan at least one more year, and then if maybe they're bad again, maybe they move on, but I can't look into the two years into the future. The other issue is this. Who wants to be the Lions' next head coach? Let's go to Dale Webb Jr. Devontae Adams or Juju to the Raiders? I mean, I would say Devontae Adams to the Raiders is the more likely scenario. However, now, I don't really anticipate Derek Carr being the long-term option there in Las Vegas because I anticipate whoever the new head coach is, they bring in their own guy. Maybe I'm wrong, but I also don't think Juju goes to the Raiders either. Let's go to gaming and blogs. Is Kyler Murray the MVP? He personally would be my front runner for MVP, but it's very close. I mean... What he's been able to do, not only throwing the ball, but also on the ground, plus the fact that they're undefeated, that will go into the voting. The other options to me are Josh Allen. He's got to be in the MVP discussion. Tom Brady's got to be in the discussion. Dak Prescott has to be in it. Lamar Jackson's been an absolute psycho. And then also Justin Herbert. I would say any five of those people, maybe just, or Matt Stafford, he's kind of fallen off. But it, between all the names that I just said, those would be my front runners. But hey, let me know. Who's the MVP front runner right now? I will say, if you want to bet on it, you can do it at BetUS. Sorry, throw it in. What team is the most underrated? Ooh, the most underrated team right now in the National Football League. I'm going to go back and I'm going to think about our chat sports power rankings. And I believe right now the Baltimore Ravens are like eight in our rankings. If you guys want to go check out the video, please go ahead and do so. But since losing an overtime game to the Las Vegas Raiders, the Ravens have looked pretty solid. Sure. This past game against Indianapolis was a little shaky, but when Lamar Jackson decides to play the way that he can, he is really, really incredible. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and say the uh, Baltimore Ravens. 